Hey YouTubers, I thought I would try an experiment. Um, it may fail, but that's what experiments are all about. Rather than do an electronic slideshow, I thought I would um, page through one of my portfolios. Um, I don't print a lot of photos. I only print the ones that I really like a lot. and uh, I print them in a large size. I don't, I don't put them in a small album. I actually put them in a portfolio. As you can see here, this is an 8.5 by 11 portfolio, and then I just print onto um, good 8.5 by 11 paper of varying brands, um, and then just throw them in here. And I, I print on the format that makes sense for uh, what I'm trying to achieve, and then just throw it in the book. So uh, I'm just going to page through it and, and sort of do a lo-fi slideshow kind of thing with uh, my portfolio. I realize the lighting is horrible, so I'll try to adjust for that. Um, so, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the photos as I flip through. This was taken with a Leica M8 um, a few winters ago. I'm a landscape photographer most of the time. Um, I think most of these were M8 photos. That's in uh, Buena Vista, Colorado. Beautiful clouds on that day. That's Buffalo Peaks. That's also from Buena Vista, Colorado. Buffalo Peaks again from a distance. Also with the M8. So truck in Salida, Colorado. That's with an M8. Processed in Nick Silver effects like the others. This is Salida, Colorado. An alleyway with this beautiful old weather brick. Um, for some reason, it reminds me of what you might see in Ireland, even though I've never been there. It just it looks Irish or English or something like that. I love these old doors. I like p taking pictures of old stuff, basically. This is uh, in Buena Vista, Colorado. It's an old Chrysler in uh, Salida, Colorado. That's a uh, black and white split tone done in silver effects. Uh, again, the shot was with the Leica M8. This is the color version of it. We start getting into some film here. Uh, this was for my first roll of film I shot with my Leica M2. and This is in downtown Littleton, Colorado. I love walking around there. It's old. What's called Old Littleton. And there's just a bunch of funky old places there. This is one of them. Uh, they also have a lot of shops, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, both of these were taken with the Voigtlander 35mm f1.4 lens. I believe it's on Plus X. One hundred twenty-five speed film. This is also from the M2. This is uh, in almost, well it's a very dark garage. Um, this is with, uh, I think the Zeiss Planar, uh, F2.0 50mm. Um, and I believe I took this on Delta 100, pushed to uh, 400 and developed in Diafy. This is a really nice photo in person. I'm sure it doesn't come across so well on this video. Um, it's one of my first medium format shots. Shot with the Fuji GW690. I believe that's on uh, Delta 100. Shot at 200. This was pretty dark, so I'm I'm surprised it was it was getting dark. I'm surprised this came out as sharp as it was because I had it on a pretty low shutter speed. This is the first negative that I that I looked at. Uh, uh, medium format m negative that I looked at and I was just blown away by the amount of detail and the overall just look from the in focus stuff to the out of focus stuff you can't beat mo medium format for that this one also is uh, from the Fuji GW690 the, the detail in these flowers is just incredible um, and the out of focus areas are really nice this is also with the Fuji GW690. I have a very large print of this, or I guess it's large. I don't know if it's very large. 16 by 24. 
had a, a drum scan done of it um, and then had the same company do corrections and uh, do a large fine art print of it. It came out really beautiful. It's a carbon print. Um, this again was with the Zeiss Sonar. Um, I don't remember what the film was. Sonar has beautiful out of focus rendering. Um, oh, the film I think was Roli Retro 80S because I know this was on uh, Roli Retro 80S. Uh, it's a really beautiful film. It's very high contrast. Kind of hard for me to get good results from, but this one I liked a lot. Uh, these are kind of uh, outliers. I um, got an old Minolta SRT-101 from a friend for pretty cheap and went out and shot a test roll through it. I decided not to keep it. It was just too beat up and stinky to keep. But um, this is the F1.4 Rokor. I think it's the 52 millimeter. It was a really nice lens. did quite well. And this is on uh, FQ50, as is this one. FQ50 is a pretty amazing film. This this almost looks like medium format. The detail in this photo um, is really good. This is also FQ50. These are all still from the Minolta. Uh, I just love the uh, texture that, that's in this one. Slightly different toning I did on this uh, in Silver Effects. This is one of my favorites. Uh, back to the Leica M2, and I believe it's FG25 on this. I'm pretty sure it is. And I was shooting Voigtlander 35mm uh, f1.2, which was a great lens, but I ended up selling it because um, I wanted some other photography toy. I don't remember what now. It's uh, from the same session. I think this one is FG50. I'm not sure. This is with the Leica M2 again. Um, I had the camera on a monopod on this day, if I recall correctly. The light wasn't that great. Um, this came out really good. It took a lot of processing. It was fairly underexposed. It took a lot of processing to really pull out the um, S shape of that root, but I'm pretty happy with the result. It looks good for a 35 millimeter um, at roughly eight and a half by 11. Uh, this is from the same roll, I'm pretty sure. Um, back to the Fuji um, GW690. Uh, the texture in this is amazing. As I say, this is probably stupid doing a video of ph photographs, but um, you're you're not able probably to see a lot of the detail on this, but it's just incredibly crisp. This was on a monopod. This is the same location, uh, Littleton School for the Blind, and uh, these look like corn stalks. These were on the ground nearby here. You can't see them in the frame. Again, the GW690 gets incredible detail. You can count the bricks easily in this. Um, it's just, uh, for detailed shots, it's incredible. Um, this is also with the GW690. This is actually a color. This was on Ektar 100. Um, I converted it to black and white because it just looked better that way. Occasionally I'll do a quick conversion just to see, does this thing have potential as a black and white negative? And if it does, I'll go ahead and convert it. And so there was a lot of silver effects processing in this to split tone it. Um, this is one of my favorite shots ever. Um, in person it almost looks 3D. Back to landscape mode here. Um, this was at the Fuji 690 in a local park. We have a lot of nice wild parks here. Um, right, right near our neighborhood, which is really nice. Another one in the same park. I had the Fuji uh, on a monopod for these. It's a pretty overcast day. 
I don't remember what the film was. I'm guessing it was probably Delta 400, if I took a wild guess. Again, incredible detail in these shots. I was uh, shooting at fairly small apertures. Here's an outlier. This is from the Leica Deluxe 4, which is a little digital camera. That's what I use to shoot a lot of my video. And uh, this is just a quick snapshot I took in Buena Vista and, and toned it in uh, silver effects later. And this was my first roll, I believe, with, uh, it's from my first roll with the uh, Contax RX. This is uh, Ektar 100. When I'm shooting color, um, I pretty much shoot for color. Um, this, pro this photo probably would have worked in black and white, but um, I was walking over because of the colors of the phone booth and the sign. Um, and basically this whole wall and this woman walked into the frame and I took the shot real quick. Uh, this is from the same day, um, still Ektar 100. Um, again, it's all about that gorgeous blue sky and the blue in this um, spray-painted dumpster and, and just getting these colors together is what I'm after when I shoot color film. Same day. Um, this was all about this faded yellow of the truck next to the blue of this wall and that red in the sky. Um, Ektar is great, great film for um, punchy color. I shoot less of it now. I shot a lot of it in the beginning. I shoot a lot more portrait now. This is uh, another outlier. This is a digital photo. I took this uh, with a, like a, what is it, a Velux One. It's their kind of SLR looking digital camera with a huge range zoom lens. Pretty nice for just carrying around. It, it produces really good quality. I think it's a 10 megapixel camera. Um, I looked out with this. I can, can see the flags were flying. I looked out with this exposure, but that's the nice thing about digital. You can actually, and especially with an electronic viewfinder, you can actually see uh, more or less what the image is going to look like. So I fooled around with exposure compensation until I got this right. And I remember it specifically being freezing cold and windy while I took this shot. Um, very happy with it. And this is with uh, Fuji again on uh, Ektar 100. And I feed this. I spent a lot of time shooting in the parks around my house. This is uh, was taken with my Sony A55, I'm pretty sure. Obviously black and white conversion, Nick Silver effects. Um, had it on a monopod, etc. This is also from the uh, Sony A55. And this is from the Fuji GA 645Zi I just did a uh, review of. This this is a uh, roll of film that was um, scanned, developed and scanned by my um, lab, and it's as crispy as all get out. Um, this is what forced me to finally get a medium format scanner and scan my own. It doesn't probably look horrible in this video, but it's super crispy and contrasty and over sharpened, etc., etc. Same area also with the Fuji GA 645ZI. Same day, same deal. I just like the sense of distance here, the close-up grass, faraway details there. Um, you can sort of see some some office buildings in the background, and this uh, I'm not sure what it is, some sort of a service building or something that goes out into this lake that's in the background. Same area, same day, same camera sailboat in the distance. Um, I had, and there, here's the same little kind of service building going out into the lake. Uh, I had high hopes for this photo, but it's so crispy. And, uh, you know, as it turned out, the scanner I got, it just isn't 
as detailed as the labs, but the lab, I can't stop them from over sharpening my stuff, so uh, I don't know what to do about it exactly. Um, this is a scan I did on my medium format scanner. It is vastly superior to the scan that the lab gave me. There's shadow detail in here that was completely gone in the lab scan. Um, I was able to recover stuff in the sky that I wanted to get. I mean, it's, it's obviously better for tonally, uh, my scanner, but uh, detail-wise it doesn't extract quite as much as theirs. This is also with the Fuji. And to close off this portfolio, this is another photo from the uh, Leica uh, V-Lux 1. And uh, early morning shot with big full moon. And it uh, came out pretty nicely, I think. Anyway, let me know what you think of this technique of uh, just flipping through a uh, actual physical album. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you didn't fall asleep. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.